in this session we'll discuss about the key value database so database is nothing but a collection of tables each collection of tables contains data of same type but whereas in no sql I... no sql contains non structured data that may be text type data that may be document type data that may be character type data that may be uh, like biometric Uh, that means thumb impression type data input data is of various types so any type of data can be stored in a database by using no sql language that means no sql is nothing but a non sql structured query language kaakunda migitha edaithe non structured ga untundo vaati annintini manu ela access cheyochu database nunchi no sql language nunchi manu access cheyochu right now we have different kinds of databases to have the uh, no sql so one is the database that is what is mean by key value database we'll see so first we see the definition a key value database is also called as what key value store so according to some books we have as a key value store so key value database and key value store both are same is a type of no sql database and unlike prior relational database that stored in a defined tables columns and a key value database instead uses individual combination of keys to retrieve the associated values that means what in prior details you have a table right so this table contains what rows as well as columns right rows as well as columns in this rows and columns here you have student number right next you have name of the student and then we have marks of the student then you may have like total or phone number of the student here these type of databases are called as relational databases so the software which is used to implement this is rdb ms relational database management system so this rdbms uses structured query language to retrieve the data from the database so ikkada ikkada konni details untai ankonde for example but whereas this key value database it should not contain the details of the students or any record what it has instead uses individual or combination of keys to retrieve the associated values for example this particular record right this particular record is stored at a address a1 so this particular student details are storing in a memory then the memory name is a1 then this key value database have keys and values so the key one consider key 1 contains the value as a1 that means this key 1 have the row a1 the row is presented in a memory cell instead of having record details what we are doing we are storing the record in a particular location in the memory and that address we are writing in a key and value pair now these values can be anything from simple data types like strings integers to complex objects with a multiple nested values each key is unique identifier that means what what the keys you have here k1 k2 k3 k4 all these are must be these keys values must be unique they not be repeated so if you know key1 that means internally in the memory this k1 is having the address of a1 so internally control goes to a1 memory location in that memory location what details you have we have student number 1 and the respective details of the particular student and the, this data will be gated to the data base so here we'll see example see here k1 k2 k3 k4 k5 all these are what all these are the different types of keys and these keys also unique so the key oka degara unte same key number inko daniki undadu values so values are nothing but address locations so a a a b b b c c c all these are the different addresses of the memory blocks if you are mapping k so this k maps to 
these three then after from there what the details you want whether you want a details or whether you want b details or whether you want c details from there we can retrieve the data from the particular locations so these values may be one or any combination of three that means what ikkada keys individual ga unique ga unnai but values wala unique ga undalani em rule ledu so it may be single all a sign undochu all b sign undochu all c sign undochu combination of two aina undochu combination of three aina undochu that means value can be retrieved as a combination of any number of keys and rows and but the keys must be unique clear so here key value database how it works so how it works just now only i explained you first it will take the key and this key value is what triple a triple b triple c this will map to the memory this will map to the memory in that memory where is the blocks are a b c blocks are there these three blocks are there these three blocks this is a block a this is a block b this is a block c these are mapped and the data of these three tables data of these three memory blocks will be retrieved retrieved in the sense takes the back the data to the user now see here key value database have a set of key value pairs where the key is identifier and the value is in the data in the question a key value pair is very similar to the various different implementations of hash tables in many programming languages the major difference with the key value database is that your data is persisted and managed via database you are using so by using hash function so manaka keys and values ela implement avutao ante hash function and oka concept ni manam use chestam by using this hash function we generate these keys as well as and the values okay so how to implement hash function we will come to know in the later classes key value database can differ significantly in the implementation depending upon the intended use case that means annitki kuda same hash function e undadu manam edaithe use chestamo dani base cheskoni hash function ni manam changes chestha untam ante enti key value database ni oke format lo kaakunda according to the user choice for example iot application a government services application a online applications a edaina application ni base cheskoni use case ante deentlo use chestamo dani use case antu ఏ యూస్ కేస్ లో అయితే మనం కీ వాల్యూ డేటాబేస్ యూస్ చేయాలో దాన్ని బట్టి మనం వేరియేషన్స్ చేయాల్సింది ఉంటుంది సో సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద డిఫరెన్సెస్ డిఫరెన్సెస్ బిట్వీన్ డేటాబేసెస్ కెన్ ఇంక్లూడ్ కన్సిస్టెన్సీ మోడల్ కీస్ రెప్లికేషన్ షేర్డింగ్ అండ్ సీరియలైజేషన్ స్ట్రాటజీస్ సో ఒక డేటాబేస్ కి ఇంకొక డేటాబేస్ కి చాలా డిఫరెన్సెస్ ఉంటుంది బేస్డ్ ఆన్ యూస్ కేస్ ఆ యూస్ కేస్ లో డిఫరెన్సెస్ ఏమి ఉండొచ్చు అంటే ఈ ఫైవ్ డిఫరెన్సెస్ లో ఏదైనా ఒక డిఫరెన్సెస్ అనేవి మనకి ఉండొచ్చు నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఇస్ వాట్ ఫీచర్స్ ఆఫ్ కీ వాల్యూ డేటాబేస్ సో ఇక్కడ ఏముంది ఫస్ట్ వన్ డేటా టైప్ సపోర్ట్ దట్ మీన్స్ వాట్ ఇట్ కెన్ స్టోర్ ఇన్ టీచర్ దట్ మీన్స్ న్యూమరికల్ టైప్ డేటా ఇట్ కెన్ స్టోర్ క్యారెక్టర్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ డేటా ఇట్ కెన్ స్టోర్ అండ్ కాంబినేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ఫ్ స్పెషల్ క్యారెక్టర్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ డేటా ఇట్ కెన్ స్టోర్ అండర్ స్కోర్ ఇట్ కెన్ స్టోర్ ఫ్లోటింగ్ పాయింట్ డేటా ఇట్ కెన్ స్టోర్ హెక్సా డెసిమల్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ డేటా ఇట్ కెన్ స్టోర్ so data type is nothing but type of data you are storing in a database so semi structured data and things like arrays nested dictionaries all the information will be stored in your database that means any type of data can be stored in the key stored database next sorted keys so this is the main feature you can say nothing but what for example k1 k2 k3 k4 like this all keys are there so all these keys are in what in a sorted order so what these are are in sorted order if the order is not there you cannot easily access the data for example consider your book okay in your book you have index pages right all index pages are for example your book consists of 1 to 100 numbers so 10 numbers one chapter 10 numbers 10 papers one chapter 10 papers one chapter if you want to search for a particular topic just we go to index and we search the particular topic and we go to respected page number so if the pages are not in a particular sorted order we cannot search very easily so this key store database allows us to store the data in a order so that we can get the data very easily to the user right and secondary key and index support 
So you know already the meaning of index. What is the use of index in your books? It will search the data very fastly. That means we have a topic cover and put first index or choose them. Are the third unit, fourth unit, second unit, search is them. After searching, for example, third unit is find it in the 104 page. So we'll go to the 104 page and we'll read it from there. But that means by using the indexing concept, we search the data very fastly. So this key value database allow you to define multiple different keys to access the same information. For example, if you're storing the user data, you might want to be able to find that information by using either name or email address. For example, when a book index allowed to the topic name on the topic names are the to the next to page number on the so only a topic name a kunda a word. For example, of a page of 10 words in Angoni, a words lo even a key sneak on words with this conguda on index and the prepare church. Not only taking topic name and page number, we can take few imported points from that and we can prepare a separate index for that imported points. So appendix into the last key. So book law the meaning and the and the award a particular page number lo available ga undi and meaning and the index where last key koni koni words undi then meaning so then page numbers unte. So then meaning where and the edena fast searching kosa matra me vartu. So key value database allows to create multiple indexes also. Not only a single index we can create multiple indexes to access the same kind of information. And continuation, replication and participation. Replication is nothing but repetition of data. Participation is nothing but participating how your data is broken up into different access nodes. Many databases provide a default way doing this, but also gives you option to define exactly how you want your data to be participated. For example, consider an example here. First letter of each key participation, which would result in 26 partitions one of each letter is in alphabet. For example, I want to define it as A, I want to define it as B, C, D, E, like this, I want to make it a partition my database. And more advanced key value database will have automatic support of distributing your database across multiple data centers. That in the sense what, for example, I have a database, in this database, I have one lakh data, one lakh records I have. So this one lakh records, if I'm storing at one location, if the day, if the particular system is crashed, what happens? The data may be lost, but key value database also available in the cloud. So this one lakh database data is divided into some partitions and each partition is stored in a different system. Okko partition, okko place lo store out to me. So if you want to get the data, first you gather all the data and you do the modification, again you distribute the data. Next, acid support. Acid is nothing but atomicity, consistency, isolation, and durability. So every database transaction should follow this acid property. So in later sessions, we'll discuss about what is acid properties. Uh, if you are interested about acid properties, I have a YouTube channel. In that, I have a video about this acid properties. Just grow through that acid properties. Nothing but before transaction, for example, I'm debiting some amount from my account and I'm doing that, I'm sending that amount to my friend. So before that, I have 1000 rupees. If I send 10 rupees to my friend, after that, what amount will be 990? That means before transaction, your amount is right. After transaction, your amount is right. So then only the transaction is well and good and stored in the database. If the transaction is not done properly, then the data may be wrong. So consistency is not there in the database, but the key value database should support acid property. What the transactions you are doing by using this key value database, all the data must be correct before and after transaction. And scalability. Scalability in the sense what easily you can change the data in the database. Next, developers productivity. So developers will take the uh, productivity in the sense, if I am if I want to develop a database for my college, so I can develop the database for my college. I can develop my productivity in the sense, developing a database for any organization is very easy. And performance. So performance also very high in the key value database because it is a scalable. Scalable means easy to modify, easy to understand, easy to write and reliable in the sense, 
Correct. So it is having more number of features. So in the market, everybody using key value database. So some of the drawbacks we have with the database. So lack of asset properties. So all asset properties are may not be satisfied with the key value database of no SQL adoption. Many developers would try to compensate this by essentially replicating the transactions in their applications. So some transactions may not support this asset properties. So those kind of transactions you cannot do in the key value database. Messy schema. Schema is not messy is nothing but many number of schemas can be implemented in the key value database. That means what? For example, if I want to find a route for a particular place, I can have any number of ways for that. Similarly, in this also, while being schema less can improve the developer productivity in short term, if an engineering team isn't disciplined enough, their data model can become a mess if they don't plan properly. Being able to planning and lead to long term problems in some ways, being forced to map out your data model with a relational database can be seen as benefit. That means what mess in the sense wrong schema is nothing but diagram. For example, if you want to construct a house, first what we do, we go to the architecture and we design a plan for that and we draw it on a paper. If the architecture is not designed your building well, what is happening? Your whole construction will be designed not properly and cannot be fit for our uh, requirements. So here in the, the key value database also, if you are not designing properly, your data may mismatch your data may loss your made your data may be incorrect and if you want to correct it it may long time that means whenever you are designing key value database you need to have more take care in the designing part that is a one of the drawback of the key value database advanced query support is not available so sql is there structured query language so no sql is also there but it will not support in advanced versions potentially less efficient storage and query optimization. That means what this key value database will not store large amount of data. If you want to store large amount of data, we go with MySQL database. So this key value database will not have the capability of storing large amount of data and query optimization. Query optimization in the sense, if you have a question, that question to be translated to the database understandable format but this key value database is not having that amount of optimization techniques and performance sensitive sensitive applications and this is suitable for only some uh, reputed that means uh, some predefined applications will be there only the performance will be there available for the only some of the apps are using this key value database one common design pattern that works with many apps is to use key value database like Redis to improve the read performance and relational database can act as a source with the truth where the data is written and the data is then pushed to the number of geographically distributed key value database. This results in reduced latency because the data is closer to the user and also makes an app more scalable and reliable. And the applications key value database implement why because of the hashing. Hashing and a concept wala implementation and the kudiga tough ground to the compared to other type of databases. So on the cosme only kundar matrami key value database use chester. So strong engine for high level database. Sorry, storage engine for high level database. Many databases use a key value database under the hood as a storage engine due to their raw performance and to save the development time, but not reinventing the wheel rocks db as an open source embedded key value database so one of the key value database is rock db created by facebook that has been used by or is supported by mysql so this mysql is a very large database to have different kinds of databases now cassandra marian db mongo db and influx db all these are the different types of key value databases which can be used by many number of organizations so next internet of things so in this internet of things also the key value database is used mostly this is also one of the use case of the key value database